I'd now like to show you what is possible inside Visualizer, even if you don't have a complex 3D model to import. Across the top right hand corner of the Visualizer interface, you will find six quick add buttons. And these allow you to add built in items that come within the software. From the far right hand side, I can add a projection screen and next to that, a projector. If I just pan around a little bit, you'll see the projector hitting the screen. And if I select the projector itself, I can choose my mix and display content across it. The projector has many properties that I can control, including things like field of view, throw ratio, intensity, and so on. And if necessary, I can make adjustments in order to fill the screen like so. The next thing I'm going to add is an LED wall, which again comes with multiple properties. I'm just going to use the group node properties here to adjust its location. Turning it more into a bit of an LED floor. If I then enable the screen, I can choose the content to be displayed across it. And once again, I've got various properties that I can control, including the number of pixels, i.e. the resolution of the screen, but also the pixel size. and the transparency. Next thing I'm going to add is some of the library items. You'll see in here, I have the ability to add uh, a box and sphere that come automatically with the software. There's a couple of characters there, but I'm gonna go for the 180 centimeter person, which you may remember from your art class. You can see he's way too big for the scene here. So again, I'm gonna use the properties control to reduce him down in size a little bit. Move him back between the projector and the screen itself. And if I get in a little bit closer, you will see now he is being projected on. And you can see how the contours of the model itself will be affected by the projection. Not only that, but your projector, just like your lighting, has the ability to create shadows. So if I go back into the projection properties, like so, at the bottom, I can enable the shadows and you'll see the shadow cast across the projection wall at the back. A very simple visualization, which may only be used for your own programming, but very quick and easy to create without the need for complex 3D models to be imported.